Hi. What's today? Today is March 23rd, maybe? Something like that. <laughs> anyway, it's spring, it's raining today. But I wanted to start, I want to tell you something about Terry Kingsbury. You've heard me talk about him different times. He was a very integral part of our business. I was friends with him for years as a deer hunting partner. We always went to Maine and chased all over hell and hunted and but never worked with each other until I talked him into coming to work for me around in the fall of 2000. Uh, he was working with his brother and they were doing contracting around but you know I talked him, talked, sweet talked him into coming to work for me over here and I said God you know if you come over here we'll build a shop together and we'll do whatever we got to do and we'll work here until we retire. Which, you know, that could have happened, what did happen. But anyway, this is a picture of us in 2006. I would have been 58 and Terry would have been 54. So we were still, you know, with it. <laughs> got it? Yeah. So I talked him into coming to work 2000, fall of 2000, he kind of needed to finish up a job or something, but anyway, but anyway, we kind of eased off in, into it. I had a stripping business at the time, we were doing a lot of doors and trim and window sash, and just doing a lot of stripping, and I wanted to get into doing floors, antique flooring. And so I Terry, I got Terry to come to work and I put him in the stripping booth because I needed to get equipment lined up and get the shop all organized and get it so we could really mount something out there. And uh, so he was stripping and I was working in the shop and chasing around buying stuff, you know, all the stuff you do. Uh, but it, one thing sticks in my mind that a year later, in September of 2001, we were out in the yard doing something, just out here talking about something. I think he maybe he'd gone out with a load of sticks or something that had to go out to the burn pile. But anyway, we were standing there talking. Linda opens up the door and says, you got to come in here. Uh, well, I, you know, you don't just stand around and ask why, because that was very urgent, I could sit, I could tell, so we came tearing in here, and the first plane had just hit the World Trade Center, and I remember saying to Terry, I said, oh man, I said, this is not good, and then a little bit, not too much later, the second one hit, and I said, that it's no longer an accident. I said, "This is we're in, this is going to be big." I mean, we're somebody's declared war on us, you know, and we were kind of just in shock along with the rest of the country. But we got back to work, and uh, of course, events played out over the next few years. But today, even, but so Terry and I just kept working, kept working. He was always a good worker. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better worker, a better friend. Always show up, always keep me on my toes, push me to do something once in a while. We worked really well together until, I mean, finally, he worked here for 20 years. And it's kind of interesting because I forget what was going on, but something happened and it was just about deer season and Gosh, I we I don't think either one of us had any idea what was going to happen, but we were talking, and somehow we was talking about deer season. Of course, he always took deer season off, and that was when COVID, this, this must have been, what the heck, was 2020, so COVID was just kicking in, and we were still operating, but we weren't really supposed to be, and things were slowing down considerably so Terry knew that it was going to be a little bit of a crunch so 
gosh, I don't know, within a, just a few minutes it went from, well, what are we going to do today, to all of a sudden he was retiring. And we both realized that it was the best thing, to, you know, it was the best thing to do. So, by God, he just, that was it. Bang. We was, I said, well, thanks for 20 years. And he says, well, thank you for 20 years. And we went our separate ways, still good friends, nothing. It was just amazing. And all the timing just clicked where it was, You, if you really stood back, you'd know that it had to happen. And it was all for the best. Now Terry's off sugaring right now, probably. And But I'm still here, but I'm still, I'm not doing all that kind of work now, but Without Terry, it wouldn't have had much of a much of a business here. So I'm really thankful, and I uh, just thought you ought to know. Thank you.